Hey people, this is the Broken Puppet, back again with another video for you today. This one is how to draw an all-seeing eye, or Illuminati eye, or whatever you want to call it. You know, the eyeball, triangle thing. Yeah, you know. And that, any other videos you want to see, or tutorials you'd like me to teach, just subscribe, comment below, and I'll see what I can do. So, yeah, enjoy. Right people, how to draw an Illumi style eye, or all-seeing eye, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, this kind of thing. And that, the eyeball inside the triangle and that now you can do this a whole bunch of ways and that you know the triangle hasn't got to be necessarily like you know I've made it here like a shiny kind of surface straight you could use like an object like a bone or something to fill this gap but yeah this is basically what I'm going to teach you da, da, da. first thing first get your pencil mark out three rough points that make the triangle so I'm going to make my triangle say here, so about here, and try to like work out roughly in the middle, going up, roughly about there I'd say. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I ain't doing my triangle exact, I'm just roughly guessing roughly where it is. If you want to work out exactly, you know, feel free to do that. And let's draw your lines up. Make basic triangle shape like that. See? Not exactly perfect, but it pretty much makes a triangle. And what I'm gonna do is just make another bit of distance. Try to keep the distance the same, like on a rule like this, see you got like the extra lines. You can do this to make sure you get roughly around the same length. So you just put the line on the line, then just sketch lightly around it. Do the same on each side. First stage pretty much done. You've got your triangle base. And now just put the lines from this corner to that corner for this one. So just sketch in a rough line there. Line up. Line across. I'm going to be going over in pen, but this is basically the rough bit. So I'll go straight in pen now so it's easier for the guys to see. So yeah, your basic triangle shape there. And if you're eyeball, just do like a rough oval shape that takes up the majority of that inside shape. And that inside that, just bring in a curve, a curve, and a circle. And that gives you a rough idea of the rough sort of shape of the eyeball. And now, now I'm going to have my the eyeball coming from this corner. So I'm going to start here, bring this line up, curve it around, down, and a flick to the side. And now, now on this corner, curve it around, kind of like that. Then curve back down and come up before the corner bit. So you're coming up early into it. We done this bit, just curving a line. So you have like the eyeball circle shape. And that now you can put like a little ball shape here if you want. A little line like that. Just a little bit of detail bit inside the eye. And that now the line below, we're gonna copy that again, but just come a little bit lower. So you just like that, so you get like a little bit of an eyelid. Now across the top, you want like an eye fold. 
So I'm going to bring up a line. And just curve around it. And then now I kind of bring, usually bring my line up here, come to almost like a little point and just curve quite sharply and then bring it around that way. And then just up here, just going to bring in a line, curving over the top like that. And another one just a little bit less deep and coming more to a point in there. And that just basically tells like the eyebrow bit. You don't have to put the eyebrow bit in, I just generally like to do that. And now underneath the eyelid again, start from that corner, you're going to do the same sort of thing again, come down the third line, bring that up. Now you want to go quite steep with that bit, and then just around this edge, not from the line, just from the outside of it, curve, a little flick down, just a little bit of detail on the outside. And then on the inside you want to do a circle for the pupil, and that now you can vary the pupil size, it hasn't got to be a certain size, but you want it to be a nice, decent size that fits up most of the inside bit of the eye. See, like that. Then you want another circle bit on the inside, smaller, just like that. And then what you want to do, do a little circle here, do another circle anywhere in the eye, wherever you kind of feel it look good. It's like there, I'm going to do another little bit. Just then I'm going to do like almost like a little oval shape here. Just like little light shines on the eyeball. And that. Now we've done that. I'm going to grab me black marker. There we go. And now, now that third eye slit, we're just going to colour completely black. So you just bow that in. The pupil bit, excluding that little circle, black in. Your eyebrow at the top, black in. Or if you're doing this in like full colour, you can always do like brown or whatever. I tend to always just black it in. I quite like the way it looks. Now the moment looks a little bit random at the moment. Now what you can do, you can do this with your marker or your pen, and now you just want to bring in another black line. Just bold up. A top eyelid, just like that. Then what I like to do is bring like this curve oval shape, just kind of fills the space, but doesn't go into your little circles you've done. So you kind of like that. Switch back to your pen or your pencil, whatever. In that, and just flick in some black lines. Going around that circle. Again, just don't go into your circles. Just like that. At this stage, I'm going to grab some shaders. You can do it in pencil or pen, you know, it makes no difference. You know, you see that one in pencil, this one I'm going to show you in pen. So I'm going to get this, find me a rubber, where my pencil to work. Where the bloody hell's materials? I'm going to start off with like a bit of a dark grey. So I'm going to go straight in with the black first. Show you the black stuff and work out from that. It's all nice today. So it's got a black marker here. It's just a flex marker, you know, you probably see me use it all the time. And I'm just going to flick this into that corner bit. And this edge bit and coming up from each of the corners just like that now with a marker like this you know you literally just get and you just kind of flick it flex markers and trim markers are best for this but well, you've got like copper markers and other kind of ones as well but any kind of one that's got a good soft brush tip you know, pro markers are good for bold colouring, but they don't really have a soft tip, so they're a bit hard to flick out and blend, which can be a pain in the backside sometimes. And that, so, so now I'm going to flick a little bit of black just around this part of the eye. 
So you literally just find the little edges and just flicking them black and then just bolding it out. And that. The little bit just here on the inside of this eye bit. Not touching the lines, just coming on the inside of them. Again, a little bit just coming from this side. Just create a little shine on the top of the eyelid bit there. Now it's going to come in with a grey and just blend it out. There should be links in the description to these pens. If not, you know, just send me an email if you want to know what they are. But like I said, you can just do the exact same thing with pencil. You know, it's just a matter of just going dark with a sip pencil and going to light. You know, same thing with paintbrushes and stuff. It's all the same thing. This is just quicker, so I can go show you guys quicker. I don't feel you need this to be able to do this sort of thing. Holding that bit, that's a lighter one. You want to make sure that most of this is kind of coloured in, you know, if you leave too much white, it kind of mixes in with the background, you know, you want either the background or the image to be dark. You know, if the background is going to be dark, you can have a light image. You know, if the uh, image is going to be dark, you can have light backgrounds. You know, you want it to kind of contrast. So there you see, you kind of have that kind of varying out. And then the uh, triangle bit. Just going to flick down black from one side. And you want to do this on the same side of each one. So you see this side, I've done it on the left. So if you imagine this bit on the left, it'd be on this side. I'm leaving just a little bit of a white line. Because I've got black in that corner already, I don't want it to mix too much of it. So I'm leaving just a little bit of a gap on that side. See, just like that. Again, just grab your lighter grey. Just blend it up. I want to quickly do here, show you, and now I'm just going to do like little kind of light bars on this. So let's just do like a diagonal line, leave a little space to make a white bit, a little space for a white bit, and then just flick your grey out from it. Just makes like a little shine. Real simple, easy technique that is. So just line, line in the middle, line bit. You can do three bars if you want, as many as you want. I find two is usually the best number. And then once we've done this, we can work on an eyeball. Now here, I just want to grey in this little bit here. If you're doing this in colour, you know colour in sort of pink or reds. And now I want to bring a shadow, coming across the eye of it. So you're just following the eyelid, just going a bit further in, and that. Now the inner eye bit, and now you can switch to your black or put this bit of pencil so you can see it a bit clearly. Pencil. Now you just blend out from the edge, so you get like a dark bit around the edge, going towards the inside, so it goes from dark to light. So it's done here, you can use pencil and marker if you want, you can mix them. Don't feel you have to stick to one medium, you know. These sort of things are there to be used to play around with. So just like that. A little bit darker gray around here, just make that a bit neater. There you go, there you have an all-seeing eye. 
I feel to make it more feminine, you know, you can put like, you know, your eyelashes on so you can keep the O-line kind of thick to the outside, come to your points and just flick in some lines. I like to flick in three lines, so we'll come into a point for each kind of eyelash bit and kind of just curve that around the eye. Getting smaller as you get towards the inside bit of the eye. You can do the same on the bottom if you wanted. And that, you know, you can have bits around the outside. You see, like here, yeah, I just added some little uh, leaf petals, a bit of cloud work, a bit of stars. And I mean, stars are easy as hell to do. I mean, you literally just bring the line up, curve it out, copy the same line upside down, bottom bit, bring that up. And then you can just colour it in if you want. You haven't even got to necessarily do those kind of shows. I mean, you can just do like random shows like I like to do. I like to kind of go. And they're little broken fragments around the outside. You know, thicken the lines up. You know, put a bit of line weight in, which always makes it more interesting, like I do here. Now, if you've got like a couple of different line weights, it always makes the picture more interesting. By line weights, I mean like line thickness, so just you can always do like your detail with like a little thin line, your basic lines, you know, like a bit of a thicker pen, and then a nice bold pen for like the outside. Look, just what I do with the same pen, just thicken it up. It's easy to do, and you'll be surprised just how much better it makes pretty look sometimes. To draw on also and I. You know, there's many variations, like I said, you know, you've got that style, you know, that one's quite similar. You know, just play around the eye shape. You know, play around with the triangle shape. Met the triangle or something different. But yeah. Hope you like it. I am the broken puppet. This is how to just draw an Illumi style eye. Check out my videos and I'll see you next time. Peace out.